Example three, we're gonna write an inverse variation equation. The variables x and y vary inversely, and y equals four when x equals three. So the very first thing is we wanna make sure that we write an equation that relates x and y. So very important that we don't forget that step. The second step is you're gonna find y when x equals negative two. So we're gonna write the general equation for inverse variation, that is y equals a over x. Now we substitute for x and y so we can solve for a. So y equals four over, and then a over three. Then to solve for a, you multiply by three to both sides. So in this case, a equals 12. So knowing that a equals 12, we're just gonna take that 12 and we're gonna substitute it into our equation here. So therefore, the equation we have is y equals 12 over x. So this is the equation that I will be looking for, right? It asks you to write an equation, so you have to m notate that, that you found the equation with the x and the y, no numbers other than that a value plugged in. Now the last step is to solve for y, given that x equals, um, x equals negative 2. So let's plug in x equals negative 2 into our equation, y equals 12 over negative 2. So we find that y equals negative 6. And so that is our solution. So that's how you write an equation, right? Write an inverse variation equation. That was our focus. And then we're given a value and we plug it in. So two things that should be boxed um, for these type of problems. So try number six and number seven. In this case, um, the x equals two, so make sure you're plugging in the right value. So number one, you need to write the equation, that's the very first thing, so find a, write the equation, and then plug it in. So two things should be boxed. So trying this out, you would find that number six, a is 20, so you plug it into the equation, y equals 20 over x, then when you plug in two, you find y equals 10. For number seven, you found, or should have found that a is negative six, so the equation is y equals negative six over x, and then when you plug in two, you find that y equals negative three. So let's do an application of this. So the time t in hours that it takes a group of volunteers to build a playground varies inversely with the number of n of volunteers. It takes a group of 10 volunteers eight hours to build the playground. So hopefully that makes sense, right? The more people you have volunteering to build something, the less time it takes, which is why it varies inversely. And so that's what happens to the time as the number of volunteers increases. So we need to write our general equation for inverse variation. Now generally it's y equals a over x. But what it's saying is time, okay, so time in t hours equals a over the number of volunteers because it varies inversely. The more volunteers we have, the less time it's going to take. So we know that volunteers is our n and eight is our time. So we wanna find the equation for this um, model here. So let's plug in n and t and solve for a so we can have our general equation. So eight equals a over 10 and then let's solve for a. So we find that a equals 80. So our general equation is t equals 80 over n. So we're gonna use that equation. Now we're gonna plug in 15, 20, 25, and 30. So we've, as we have more volunteers, it should hopefully be less, and let's find out what that is. So that's the inverse variation equation. Let's start plugging in each one. So we have 15. And so time equals 80 over 15. And so we wanna be able to talk about how much time that is. Normally when we talk about time, we talk about it as in hours and minutes, hours and minutes. So therefore it shouldn't be decimal. So if you plug it in your calculator, you notice if you're gonna get 80 over 15, you get 5.333 forever, right? You don't tell somebody, oh, it's gonna take us 5.333 hours. Um, you tell them in minutes. So what we wanna do is go ahead and convert this to minutes. So I know it's five, so I know 15 times five, that is going to be 75, right? So remembering how to divide. So 15 divided by 80, that's gonna be five. 15 times five is 75, and then you subtract that. So I have five left over. So it's five hours and five over 15 minutes. So we want to convert that. So that doesn't, you know, it's not very clear on that, what the minutes are. So I know it's five hours. So for the minutes, 
One way to do this is write a proportion. So five fifteenths of an hour. So what I wanna know is how many minutes is that over 60 minutes, right? Because we wanna know what portion of that is of an hour. And so one way to think about this, you can either cross multiply and solve. You can do that, so let's do that. This is 300 equals 15x, then divide by 15. And then when you do that, you would find that x is 20. So that's one way to do that. So 20, that means it's five hours and 20 minutes. Now another way to do it is, you know, it's up to you however you want to view this, is I have five over 15 equals x over 60. So I want that to equal to each other. So I can figure out what is five times what is 60. I'm sorry, 15 times what is 60. 15 times four is 60. So therefore, in order to get to here, five times four is 20. So that would be my x value. So some of you can think about it in that way as well, um, but you can definitely solve it doing this too. Uh, number 20, so 20, 20 volunteers is pretty fast, 25 and 30. So if you can, see if you can figure out the hours and minutes just as a challenge. And then see if you can do this problem down here. It takes a group of volunteers, 10 volunteers, 12 hours to build a playground. How long would it take a group of 15 volunteers? So if you tried this example down here, you get uh, the equation, which is 120 over n here. And then you plug in 15, and you find that it's a perfect eight hours. Now, if you did these ones, number 20, so this is 20, you would get four hours perfectly. Then for the next one, you get three hours and 12 minutes. And then for the last one, you would get two hours and 40 minutes. Now in my next video, I'll go ahead and solve all of these in minutes, um, or at least the 25 through 30 here, uh, if you are interested in trying to figure out how to convert those, if you still need a little bit of help.